Well, 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 my micro switch extruder finally clawed. And as you can see here, I'm not actually mad, I'm actually quite happy because I am able to make another video of showing you guys how to unclog your nozzle. Either it's from Creality, micro switch, any other nozzle, there is no nozzle hot end out there that is clog free yet. So today, I'm going to show you how to unclog your nozzle your hot end, whatever you want to call it. There are a couple of ways I diagnose or try to unclog my nozzle. So I will show you all the methods that I take, all the tricks that I do. Let's scratch this clogged nozzle. You might not be able to see this, but I'm gonna click extrude down here. Then we will listen to the extruder and how it sounds. Okay, I hope you can hear that clicking noise. It's made from the extruder up there. Let this come out. That is how you know your nozzle is clogged. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is let's go to home, heat up the nozzle to around 240. You can do the range of 220 to 250, 60, whatever you feel like. But in this case, I'm gonna do 240. Before this thing gets up to heat, I'll show you what I use. These are unclogged pin that is made specifically to unclog your nozzle. You can get these on Amazon for very cheap. Uh, if you need some, I will link it down below so you can go and grab yourself some so you can unclog your nozzle without taking anything off. As you can see here, there are many in there but I use most of them up, only three left. This one is for 0.4 millimeter nozzle. As you can see there, it's kind of nasty because I used it once before. And if you clean it, you can use it again. This is the first thing I do before taking anything off. I just use this pin, shove it in the nozzle hole right here <laughs> and just keep go kind of twisting it at the same time. One thing that you can do is put your pin here so that it conducts the heat. It's heating up the temperature of this pin and then you can slowly go up twisting at the same time. If you push hard, you force it, your pin's gonna bend like 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 this it's, it's kind of bending yeah once your pin bends like this it's basically useless you cannot use it on the next project or on the next clogged i don't know why it's not focusing so yeah just do this a couple of times heat up your pin make sure it's hot so that it can melt the filament that it's in there that is clogged so just do the same thing push up spin at the same time like that and pull it out fast you gotta pull it out fast and i did not really get anything but hopefully that clears up a little way. I'm gonna go back and try to extrude. And as you can still see, or as you can still hear that, it's still clogged. Oh my gosh. And this pin is now useless. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna try and do is recut my filament. Unlock this, push down my filament guide, or push out this pin, I don't know. I don't know what's this called. Push down this white thing up here. Or if you have a blue one, you can take out the pin and then push this thing down. Pull out your bonding tube. Let's pull this thing out. So I'm gonna recut that. As you can see, it looks like that now. I'm gonna recut it at an angle like that. And I'm gonna push it back in. Also push the bonding tube back into the hole too. Let's see if this time it worked. Nope, same thing. You can still hear the sound. Nothing is coming out. It's still clogged in there. So at this point, you might be frustrated like, what the, what the heal? What? Why is it extruding? Why is this thing keep clogging? It's because there's like a teeny tiny spot where the fan sits. You are retracting your filament out. If the filament is not good or it's some sort of other filament or the filament is just a bad filament and it just keep breaking. When it retracts, it pulls your filament out. There's like a sm small cold spot there. If your filament break in there, it's gonna get stuck right there. So you cannot push it out, you cannot extrude it out because that point is not making contact with anything. I think it's in the thermal block. Not quite sure where exactly it is, but there's a cold spot in the nozzle. The nozzle is heating up. Block up here is extruding. This portion heats up so filament can go out. This portion up here is the extruder so it can pull and push. And there's like this heat block where the fence sits. That's the cold spot. So if your filament is hot and you retract it and it break, then the filament became solid in that spot 
where it cannot be heated up before I even take off my extruder to check what's in there get that piece out I'm gonna be using this thing that it came with the printer from Creality so I was wondering what the hell is this thing why would they include this it doesn't even fit the nozzle it doesn't fit anything but what I figured out of a useful way for this is to shove it in here you can shove it in here all the way but you gotta be careful you don't want to ruin any gears or anything in there so if you get here like it stuck just pull out and then try pushing back again until you reach the very bottom where you think the clog is so you try pushing it down but it doesn't work because this thing is not heated so what I usually do is if you don't have a blowtorch you can just use your stove or like a small lighter and heat up the very tip here you want to make sure it's quite hot so just heat it up here and once you do this you got to be very very careful of putting this in because you don't want to melt anything if you melt something it's going to be very bad so that's why I said practice shoving this thing into the hole a couple of times that sounds wrong <laughs> but I'm just going to blow this thing make sure it's hot I think that's hot enough okay now slowly and carefully push in the pin here I'm kind of shaky you just want to go straight to where you think it's clogged and you can hear that click and look at this it's extruding and when I pull it out you can see that it has filament now yes as you can see right there I just push that thing out and this thing has filament you can see a strand of filament right here too so it worked that's how you unclog your printer k1 max or k1 or any other printer that has these kind of setup and now you just want to clean your unclog stick but i did it way too slow i was trying to record everything i was trying to put this in i was doing a lot of stuff so at this point this thing has filament in there so you don't want that because in the future you're going to be doing the same thing again so what i do is just heat this up i heat this up like this go go fast like this and then use like a paper towel and just wipe it clean just swipe it clean fast you don't want to bring yourself so do it fast and look at that that is how much gunk that is in there was clogged extruding it right now and see if it works and look at that look at that there's no clicking sound filament is starting to come out whoa look at that poop it's pooping filament Let's go! We have unclogged our 3D printer! Okay, that concludes this video of me showing you how I unclog my 3D printer's clogged nozzle. That is how you unclog your nozzle. I'm actually happy that my machine clogged and I can make this video. But that is it with this video. If you like these kind of videos and you like the videos that I produce, check out my Patreon. You can join, it's free, or you can pay the $5 subscription to get access to more feature that is gonna be coming in the future. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment down below. What is your way of unclogging 3D printer's nozzle? And if you find my method useful, leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, keep on printing.